What up, though? Heist man, the foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, subscribe button. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. But, man, we got to talk about some stuff, man. Y'all know what we got to talk about, man. We got to talk about, I got you when I hit a lick, the aftermath. Because it went down last night, man, on the Corey Holcomb show, the 5150 show. It's been a... It's been a week long since his little um, fight been going on between him and Zoe Williams, man. His former co-host. Um, it went down, though, man. And we finna talk about it, man. I, I took some notes this time, man. There's a lot of stuff we got to talk about. It was kind of funny to me, man, just watching the show, man. I ain't think it was going to happen. I thought it was going to be over with, man. I mean, I ain't think the... Show was gonna be over with per se, cause I know Corey's still gonna eat. Store, um, Corey's still gonna do his thing, but as we know, the crew is gonna be there. So let's get right into it, man. For starters, when it started off, Corey had this this song. He got a new song to the show. It's Trina there. You know that shit. It, it ain't going on no more. He ain't do that song no more. He got a whole new song called "I Got You When I Hit a Lick," and it was fire, man. I'm talking about some man. I knew it was going to be on and popping right from the start, from the start right then, man. When he put that diss song out, man, it was like, okay, it's going down. This it, It's going to go down, man. I was ready to have my popcorn ready, my blunt, my drink. I'm like, oh. But it was, it was crazy, man. That, that's, that was just the introduction, and I was already super hyped for that. Um, For starters, man, he, he came on with no apologies. Corey did. He stand on it, you know. That's what he say. He stand on it. Like he ain't had no apologies. He ain't had one for um for D. Um, Darlene Ortiz. He ain't had one for her. <clears throat> he shouldn't apologize to Craig and um Marcus. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> he ain't apologize to them either. He shouldn't have apologized to them. They was on the outside, man. But that's who were there. Marcus and um Craig and. Um, Darlene no GOTs like, as usual his original crew and it was like okay it's going down man it's, um they talk about um they started off talking about it you know flat out and Corey said don't poke the bear he told him don't poke the bear the funniest thing Corey had on he had on that um I got you when I hit a lick shirt on man it was, he had goofy on there man I was dying man it was it was so funny to me man um, when I did a video about this last time, I tried to play the middleman because I like both parties. I wasn't saying nothing wrong about one side, one side. I ain't, I ain't gonna do that now. The men, that's their business. They gotta handle that. They gotta, you know. But I was like, man, it's going down, man. Corey, he, he said, don't poke the bear. He told him, don't poke the bear. And he started getting in on, um, Zo. He's talking about Zo used to catch cabs up there, man. They used to literally... Pay for him to get calves up there to do the show with them. And it was like, oh, I see what is going at. He bringing up the cab. He bringing out what he did for somebody. So I already knew what was going on, man. He, um, what else he say Corey did, man? Because it was, it was a, the whole show, it didn't even do the loose talk for a long time. It, it was all about this situation, man. He also said that, um, he used to take Zoe on the road with him, you know, and let him sell his books. Stuff like that. Cop them hotel rooms and stuff. Just put them up in there, you know. Held them down because Zoe didn't feel like he was getting held down by Corey, man. Before the advertisement and all that stuff that goes along with it. He didn't feel like that was, you know. But he, you know, Corey had to think about it. He said, man, I used to take you on the road with me, man. Let you sell your books. Brought you on stage. Got the hotel room for you. And I was like, okay, see. Now I'm starting, not that I'm leaning towards him, but I'm starting to feel, I, I can feel where his animosity and anger coming from, Corey got. Because like I said, I ain't picking no sides, man. I'm a grown man. I ain't got to pick no sides. I'm 100% with Corey, though. Like, 5150, it's me. All that. Um, He started talking about um text messages. Let me get my notes, man. What he said in the text? He said, um, I got text messages that will shut you the F up. I'm trying not to curse, y'all. I don't know why, but I'm just trying not to curse. 
But he said he got text messages to shut you the F up. He, then he started going in about how he was ducking the lawyers. Zoe was about the um, whole Aries Spears situation with the lawyers and stuff. So he was just ducking. He said he was trying to send him the, um, the lawyer to call. And every time the lawyers would come, or not come by, but call by, he'd just be ducking them, ducking them, ducking them. And he said he, that's when they really fell out when it, because of the lawyer situation. He said his wife told him. Like, why Zoe ain't hollering at you about the lawyer? I thought it was your friend. He said, boom, that's it right there. And he figured that wasn't his friend right there. I went out, man. I, I got I'm hit, I got you when I hit a lick. <laughs> hey, that was popping last night, man. That, that was the funniest thing about it, man. That shirt, I got you when I hit a lick. And he had a goofy up there, man. <coughs> <coughs> he had goofy. That was crazy. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Bear with me. The funny thing about it, man, he calls Zo baby boy, man. He calls Zo baby boy. <coughs> Said because he lived with his girl, you know. And a lot of people do live with their girls, you know. That's crazy, but he, he did say it. He said he lived with his... <coughs> <coughs> Bear with me, y'all. But he said, like, because he, he wanted to um chime in about him being a good father and stuff. About Corey being a father. Because Zoe had his show, he, you know, did this thing, too. He talked about the situation. But he said, Corey said some real stuff to him, man. He said, you yeah, you can be a good father when you got a woman at home paying all your bills. So you supposed to be a good father because that's what she doing. She paying the bills. So you might well be that dude, man, to play with the kids, swing them around. Yay, good daddy. What else went down, man? So you called my baby boy. The chat was lit. The chat was popping last night over there on the Corey Holcomb show. Oh, Poitus. Poitus. I forgot that girl, man. I think I had a picture of her. Let me see if I got a picture of Poitus. Say it in the OBS. Y'all bear with me, man. But he talking about POTUS, man, put out a cease and desist letter against him, basically, man. And um, he don't, he want all that smoke, too. He want that smoke. What, what POTUS at? Let me find this picture of POTUS. Oh, there she go. And he started talking about the dandruff flakes and, uh, you know, falling off that mole. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's real crazy. <coughs> like I said, the chat was lit. I think the funniest thing I seen was somebody in the chat said Zo got a Zo fund me. Hey, come on, man, a Zo fund me for twenty stacks. I don't know, man. <coughs> <coughs> I should be trying to smoke and do this at the same time, man. I'm messing up my professionalism. Um, the thing is, what got me the most, man, is not not that Corey didn't apologize. He didn't apologize to the fans, man. That's all I wanted. Not from what he did and what he had to say and what went down. I wanted him to apologize to the fans. Be like, look, man, I'm sorry I had to do this in front of y'all. But sometimes you ain't sorry for doing that in front of people. Because it's got to be done. And that's all I wanted was an apology. Not like he had to sit up. Hey, y'all, I'm sorry, man. <coughs> this weed good. <coughs> Woo. Messing up, man. Mess up the whole video because of the coffee. I'm just sorry, man. That's how I get down. But he apologized to us, man. Baby, I want something that we must get. Zo fund me. The chat was lit. Boy, this baby boy, he ducking from the lawyers. He did this track. Zo got brought up in the cab. Yeah. Don't poke the bed. That's about it, man. I covered it all, man. Y'all got to check it out, man. Y'all got to check it out, man. Y'all really got to check that episode out, man. Check out the chat, too, man. Because they was, man, They, I, I, that's one thing I never seen before. <coughs> <coughs> I never seen um the chat room in, in Corey Holcomb show. I never seen the um that many troll accounts before. Like people are really mad about this. Like maybe people like they was going in on Corey. They was going in on Zoe. It was like both sides. It was like I never seen that before though. They re they really they really hate Corey now, man. And Corey don't care. He read he want all the smoke. That's about it though, man. I'm about to wrap this up because I ain't got the lung capacity for this no more, man. But y'all gotta holler at your boy, man. I go live every Friday right here on this channel at 9 p.m. Come through. 
hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace. Hold on. Let me see that goofy one more time. He said, I got you when I hit a lick. Oh, my God. That's the funniest thing out, man. I might title this that. Yeah, that's what y'all do, man. On Friday um, at 9 p.m., get me when you hit a hit me. Ah, oh, I messed it up, man. Anyway, hi, let your boy. Heist Man the Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.